Today on Film Friday, we're taking a look at the underrated FPP Debonair 120 film camera. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome back to another episode of Film Friday. On today's episode, we're taking a look at this little unassuming plastic camera. As it says on the sticker, this is the plastic filmtastic FPP 120 debonair film camera. FPP stands for the Film Photography Project, and these are the guys responsible for bringing this camera to market. They apparently found a bunch of boxes of these. Uh, this is kind of an obscure camera made in Hong Kong. It's got a 60 millimeter F8 lens, very similar to a Holga, and like a Holga, it's got zone focusing uh, with, instead of numbers, just pictures. So you've got one person, three people, and a mountain. So those are the three things you can photograph with this camera. FPP says this camera is not really a Holga or a Diana. It's somewhere in the middle. It's kind of a fusion of the two. And unlike Diana and Holga, it doesn't shoot six by six square images. It shoots six by 4.5 rectangular images. And by making the gate smaller on the back, the camera is a little bit more compact than a Holga. And it's a little more economical because you can get more shots out of a roll of 120 film. This camera has a fixed aperture and a fixed exposure. It's really designed to shoot in bright sunlight. And it's just got a basic shutter here on the front which means you can shoot double exposures. Now I haven't shot a lot with this camera, but a couple winters ago, I did bring it to the Milwaukee Art Museum and let's take a look at the photos I captured. As you can see, the 60 millimeter F8 plastic lens adds a real softness and dreaminess to your images. And the Milwaukee Art Museum already has a really surreal dreamlike quality to it. So this lens worked really well in this environment. Now in this shoot, I was using ISO 100 black and white film and it was a pretty dark day both outside and inside, so a lot of my subjects are going into silhouette. I'm not getting a lot of detail on them. But again, for this dreamy location, the silhouetting is kind of working to my advantage. The soft lens, the dark locations are creating these dreamlike images. These last two images were shot on a separate day. It was sunnier out, and I am getting much more usable exposures. As you can see, this is a very lo-fi uh, plastic lens camera. Uh, it is very limited in what it can do, but the images it creates are very dreamy. And as a Holga and Diana shooter, I actually kind of like this camera as an alternative. If I get tired of the Diana or the Holga, this is a great camera to pick up and take with. Uh, I know I can get a couple more shots on the roll of film, and I know I'm gonna get a very similar dreamy, lo-fi, medium format filmic look. The same kind of look I'd get with a Holga or a Diana, but with a slightly more compact body and a couple more shots on each roll of film. Today's video is brought to you by photodeox.com. Photodeox is a photo and video gear and accessories company. And I'm actually using a photodeox light to light this scene right now. It's our Flapjack C700 RSV light. It's right up there. It's a beautifully diffused LED edge light that's perfect for video setups like this one. If you'd like to learn more about the Debonair camera, I've got it in the link in the description below. Also, comment below if you have any questions about anything I said in today's video, and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com, and have fun shooting with plastic fantastic film cameras.